Hello guys and welcome back to another chainsaw uh, video on behalf of Red Band UK. Today we're going to be looking at the 500 series. There are 10 models across the series, but today we're going to be focusing on three different sorts. I'm going to be discussing the 545 Mark II and the, the 550 XP Mark II. And these are 50cc engines. These are the first steps into the professional and full-time class chainsaws. The other one we're also going to touch on a bit as well is the 550 XPG Mark II. Uh, these are chainsaws that are more models for design for small to medium trees. This is for the professionals. These are for the guys who are doing this day in, day out. All these uh, models that we're discussing today all can take a 13 inch, 15 inch and 18 inch bar with the H25 semi chisel uh, chain. In terms of these, obviously weight's quite important being a professional user, you're going to be using them all day so trying to keep them as light as possible. We're looking at, for both of these models here, we're looking at 5.3 kg and then we're looking at 5.5 for the XPG Mark II. A little bit of technical information. For this one, the 545 Mark II, we're looking at 2.7 kilowatts, and we're looking at three kilowatts here on the 550 XP Mark II. So on these chainsaws, because I said at the start, they are professional use, therefore we're expecting you to use them pretty much for most of your working day. Osvaldo have taken a very strong thing towards vibration. And obviously if you're using it every day, vibration is very important. So on the 550 Mark II, we're looking at 4.4 meters per second squared um, for vibration on the front handle, and on the rear it's 4.1. And on the 545 Mark II, you're looking at uh, 3.7 meters per second squared uh, to 3.6 meters per second squared on the rear here. And across the two, that's a 15 to 20% less vibration from this model to this model. And that's expected because this one is a slightly bigger engine. So on, on all of these uh, models, uh, we're looking at a fuel capacity of 0.53 litres, and that's the same across all three of the chainsaws. The fuel consumption on the 545 Mark II is less than it is on the 550 XP Mark II. You're looking at, on the 545 Mark II, you're looking at 1.67 litres per hour compared to 1.81 litres per hour on the 550 Mark II. The other thing we need to talk about is chain oil capacity that goes in the front here. The chain oil on, again, is the same across all of the models. It is 0.32 litres. Uh, related to the chain oil uh, across these models is the adjustable chain oil pump, um, which obviously controls the amount of oil being fed from the oil ch uh, chamber. Um, onto the bar and obviously that is adjusted depending on the material, the type of tree or the type of wood that you are cutting with your saw. On the 500 series saws we see the introduction of a smart feature called the auto-tune and it is basically an automatic adjuster on the carburetor which allows the fuel um, and it changes the setup of the carburetor to adjust for its surroundings. This auto-tune feature is designed to give the engine optimal performance and that will change on things such as the humidity, the temperature around the engine, the fuel quality, uh, we're looking at altitude and it'll even change if the air filter was to become clogged, therefore starving the engine of that all-important oxygen. Other nice features on the Husqvarna 500 series is the 550 XP um, chainsaw that we have here is also available as an XPG model. XPG means that on Anywhere you see that on a Husqvarna range of chainsaws means it would have a heated handle, which is ideal for when the temperature really does drop below freezing. Other notable features of these saws is the magnesium and three-piece forged crankshafts for increased durability and performance. The quick-release air filters and covers for easy maintenance here and here. And also on the saw side, are the retained nuts here. These will never actually come off. Once they're undone, they will just they will hang there by a piece of plastic. So finally, in conclusion, um, across the three saws that we have discussed today, the differences for me, again, are minimal. Obviously, there is a price difference, and that is all down to the end user, what you feel your budget is. But for me, these are some of the best saws you can get for the entry-level professional market. 
Um, if you did want something that's that little bit more power and probably would say even bigger chainsaws within the 500 series, uh, the next level up in the market, uh, go to the website. On there you can see more 20 inch, 24 inch bars, uh, powerful saws. Stay tuned for any more videos that might come out on our YouTube page. Uh, keep an eye on the socials. And for many more information on the products I've discussed today, uh, head to our website, www.redbanduk.co.uk. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.